So this one, uh, we've got two radicals, so to isolate them, what we need to do is we need to move one to the other side, so that's what I'm going to do. If I move one to the other side, then it looks something like this. I've got cube root 3 minus 2x equals what? The cube root x plus 1. Now how do I get rid of the radical? I cube both sides. So when I cube it, it undoes it, so all I'm left with is 3 minus 2x equals x plus 1. Okay, now it's business as usual. Get your x's on one side. So this is 3x plus 1 equal to what? Just 3 minus 1 minus 1. And so that's 2 equals 3x. So what does that mean? That means that x divide by 3 on both sides, we get 2 thirds. But now I need to check it. If I throw in a 2 thirds here, so that's cube root of 3 minus 2 times 2 thirds, okay, equals the cube root. I'm sorry, let's do minus because we're going to plug it into the original. Uh, 2 thirds plus 1, all equal to 0. So this is going to be what? That inside there is going to be 3 minus 4 over 3. So that's really 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3, which is 5 thirds inside of the uh, cube root. Over here, 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is still 5 thirds. So here's what's happening. I'm doing the cube root of 5 thirds minus the cube root of 5 thirds. Uh, yeah, I think that's zero, so that's going to work for us. So this is a solution. Now, um, one more you might see in your homework as you're doing it. You're going to solve for A, so they're going to give you some formula. Maybe the formula is the length of the hypotenuse on a right triangle. Okay. So let's see here if we can get this figured out. I want A by itself, so maybe it helps to circle the letter I'm trying to get by itself. What's holding it all together is the square root. So how do I get rid of the square root? I square both sides. I get C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Okay, look familiar, maybe, but that grand theorem, oh my gosh, right? So minus b squared minus b squared. So I have c squared minus b squared equals a squared. To get a by itself, I square root both sides. When I square root, I have a plus or a minus. And so this is equal to a. So a is the plus or minus square root c squared minus b squared. All right.